All right, guys, we're going to do another bathroom review today, and this is going to be the first of three beers that were sent to me by Dennis LD or Montreal Beer Reviews on YouTube. Thanks, Dennis. Uh, sent me three beers from Uni Brew from uh, Quebec, Canada, uh, a very famous uh, brewery, actually, pretty much a world famous brewery. Uh, they do Belgian style beers with their own unique little uh, twist on them, I guess. Um, this first one is. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to tell you what the other two are. I'm just going to surprise you. Um, this is La Fin du Monde, and in, and that is French for the end of the world. Uh, it's a triple fermented ale, so basically a Belgian triple. So it's at 9% ABV. Um, recommends a tulip glass, uh, a goblet, or... Um, any sort of like wine glass or anything like that is pretty much uh, perfect for this sort of beer. And let's see what it says on here. The excellence of triple fermentation through a blend of special yeast that gives La Fin de Monde an exquisitely robust flavor of exceptional refinement. This liquid gold could only be brewed in the highlands of America. I should say North America. Um, so what you're expecting from uh, triple uh, you're expecting a, a nice thick creamy head uh, the color should be slightly darker than your standard Pilsner usually uh, unfiltered um, expecting a lot of like spicy and fruity notes uh, and the alcohol should be well masked generally so we're gonna get right into the review here and see how it goes I'm not too sure how good my camera's battery is here I I switched them around and it says I have full power again, but before then the damn things shut off on me, so let's get into it. Okay, we're back with the Fin de Monde. Not exactly um, a creamy hit on this one. More foamy. About almost two fingers thick. About a finger and a half. Um, very, very hazy, golden body. Slightly darker than your standard pills. And it looks like, um, almost looks like orange juice, sort of. That's very nice. So we'll go right to the aroma now. Now you can actually see the viscosity on the sides of the glass there from the high alcohol. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we'll go right to the aroma. Mmm. Very juicy. Um, smells a lot. It has a lot in common with um, like a wheat beer. Um, it has those those clove and slightly citric sort of notes to it. In fact, clove is pretty much a dominant um, note there. But in the background, it has um, a lot of like lighter colored fruit. Um, thinking green fruits like um, apple, uh, green grapes, pears. And that's about it. It's it's a slightly fruitier wheat beer, uh, uh, basically a wheat beer smell with um, sort of uh, the, the sort of the greener fruits on the greener side of things, as opposed to say like Chimay Blue, which is much more about sort of dark fruits. Okay, the the quad Chimay Blue. Hmm, very good. Okay, so we'll go right to the taste now. Put a medium mouthfeel to it. Um, 
very spicy up front. Um, the cloves really come out. Cloves, pepper. In the very background, um, there's a slight bit of alcohol, but it masks the 9% very well. I wouldn't say it's the smoothest drinking beer I've had. Um, there is a lot of flavor to it. Um, and it does make one pause a bit while you're drinking it. Um, essentially everything in the nose sort of transfers over to the taste. I like it. Very complex beer. Um, there's a lot of different flavors going on. Um, I get the cloves. I get the alcohol in the back. I get the fruits, the apple, the pear. Um, candy sugar. Nice uh, Belgian yeast flavors going on there. Very, um, I guess you could say very estery. Slightly warming going down. Finishes with um, the cloves and more of that candy sugarness uh, along with the tinge of alcohol lingers on. <sighs> nice little bit of bitterness sort of balances out things. It's a very well made beer I'd say. Yeah, it was good. Um, I'd say four out of four point five out of five for this. Actually, um, if I was grading purely on craft craftsmanship, but I do find it a little bit awkward to drink. Um, it's very rich. It's a very rich beer. Maybe a bit too rich. Um, so I have to knock it down a bit. I'll say four out of five. I know this gets um, A's and you can get an A plus from the uh, Elstrom Bros on Beer Advocate. And it's one of the highest rated triples in the world. Maybe it's just not my style. Um, uh, the best I give it is a four. Uh, the drinkability really isn't there for me. Uh, which is weird because you go to the darker end of the scale um, with like really complex stouts and things like that I can just drink them down like nothing but maybe it's the uh, lighter greener fruit flavors here that are sort of holding me back a bit because um, I'm not really a fan of apples and pears and things like that so it sort of tastes like a really sort of heavy, um, heavy wheat beer to me. It's good though, don't get me wrong. So, four out of five for Le Fin du Monde, the end of the world. A damn good beer. Probably just not to my taste though. <laughs>